Now, with the possible clan. Engage. Yes, this is a good matchup into the Shen for the pull, mm -hmm. but you can dodge a lot of your remount and your passive W. And but again, we win all two on twos. So Shrimp gets to do whatever he wants now, knowing that a back might come through. Someday. Oh! No way! Oh! Had to see it coming. Bit of a flash there by Brandini as he got excited for the kill to come up. He didn't want someday getting away at all. And Shrimp's gonna try to get an answer here. The frog oh, gets out. Did. There's the Stand United coming in. They're gonna go back onto Keen. The exhaust they've been holding throughout the lane Auto. now taunts it back onto Shrimp. Shrimp might have to flash here. It's gonna be tough. Head he does have the minion wave he can get through and just slalom his way to safety. But mm -hmm. Brandini and Dignitas is gonna hover towards the bottom. It won't be much for Fox. Defense on this second wave as it comes in. That just means more farm for MASH, but it also means Gate ah. might be able to do a little bit of roaming here after Man. it goes down. I like it, Alltech. Dick has been looking great with Alltech and Adrian. Every I've cast both their games this uh, this week, and he's been up against the wall. Brandini is like, just push it to me, please. <laughs> he's hanging out in his bottom brush. And it looks like bot lane's gonna get the same push. No need for him to die. Actually, a very nice move there that he doesn't get 3v1 in the situation, even though there wasn't a chance. But they just want to be able to trade nicely. Yeah. It does go a little bit after Adrian, but now they know Brandini is there, mm -hmm. and the pushes may continue. Yeah, and this is interesting because Echo Fox need wards on this uh, top quadrant. Froggen's going to rotate, try to accelerate the pace with a four on one. Cosmic okay. Radiance. Cask out. Radiance goes on. Acadian misses that, but it is on MASH. He had the aggro of the turret. Keen's there. Miasma down, but nobody gets locked down. And Dignitas is actually coming up pretty nice on this. Mm -hmm. They're able to route Fox off the bottom turret. Much faster push. Now it's three turrets. They flanked this fight. You exactly. Have, you have a Tristana that's actually pretty far ahead. He has the Infinity Edge completion. Boots too. Whoa. That was so good from Acadian. Oh, beautiful flash on the Dazzle. Nature's Grab oh. not hit either. That goes over to Acadian. That means they can grab it. 45 seconds is the time they have to do so. But the fight comes in for Dig. And a hit onto Brandini. He gets out of the situation. Nice knock back there. And Acadian saves the rest of the team. That means that was at least 500 damage across the two champions. Big toss in and out. Froggen with just a big one to come up. He's waiting to place that one perfectly. 1,500 on the dragon as he heals up they the two. Fight. Dazzle goes down, but Bastion wasn't on the correct target. And it looks like they're trying to cycle through. Very low health here for Dignitas as Mash can cycle some nice ricochets back through the... I was going to say the front line of this is Keen, but it's not going to go too far as he wasn't far away. Petrifying gaze on to MASH. He could go down with one more Twin Fang. Froggen walking forward for the exhaust here. And both teams start to limp away. Dragon gonna go to Dignitas after the extended fight. Yep, the ultimates came. We're gonna Baron. They're not even using Altec there. It's the blue buff on the Cassiopeia. Double Mountain Drake. Adrian has to stop. There's the cast. Perfect from Shrimp. They get it with nothing. Yeah, it activated as of three minutes ago. Get back out under the rift to get a little more assistance for the defense of Echo Fox. Oh. Fast forward from someday to finalize the kill. So that's Beans for there level as four. Well. Yeah, a little bit of payback. And now the team is going to be able to drop three members towards that bot side. Adrian on the roam as well. He is just this floating assistance as he would be on Jenna, but really helping the team to keep strength in each lane they need it yeah, at that time. He keeps going between lane and minions. Or sorry, his oh. and minions the other waves to die, right. and they're able to push up, and he's able to go on the side. And look at that, disengage, buster shot, play around traps in the mid game. When I could just, you know, not have to do that, ban it away, and then not have the whole team deal with this, <laughs> this wall. Because it works in both situations. Mm -hmm. You're losing, I trap you off. Just don't kill me, give me some extra attack speed. Ugh. But I don't know if it's going to be able to help him this game. But I feel like the only person who's died on this team, like, literally, the score in the game is Brandini's score line. Mm -hmm. Like, one to two. He's doing his job, though. Everything just, else is what just... What you want from the Shen? Exactly. Everything else is just laning. And so Dignitas <laughs> is showing that they don't... This is what you want to see as well from a top right. team, is that they don't have to get down in the dirt and get dirty. We'll see here, though. Keen, cleanse away. Very nice cleanse. He flashes to safety. They just let the Cosmic Radiant shine away. Brandini taunts into safety, so that's not used now in aggression. Oh. And as you were saying, Dignitas Beautiful. able to kind of just take this one out through the laning phase. They wanted to scale up Keen and Altec. They did so. Found two kills when they had the chance, but... Mm -hmm. It was a very low kill game, so Dignitas can get the lanes they want. Yeah, and that was beautiful. Though, so, it's going to be someday. Shrimp right going in. in. Nice petrifying gaze on both members there on the bot side of Fox. Looking at Acadian now. The last few fangs and shots coming in from Alltech. 
and keen as they get to stand on the front line. That just shows you how confident and big they feel as they make their way into the base of Echo Fox. Yep, double Super Minion Waves, 28 minutes almost on the clock here, and the double Mountain Drake's gonna do work. Ooh. All tech John jumps to the side, <laughs> blasts Frog in a way to say, no, no more damage from you. Acadian trying to do the same thing, says, check out my Snuggie, it's really comfy. But Dignitas says it feels more comfortable to take the Nexus than have a game under the belt. Four to one, just under 30 minutes in. They're chipping away. Seems like they're getting the hammers and the chisels out, but they're mainly targeted on the members of Echo Fox. Whoa. One last brawl. As we see the Stand United from Brandini coming in. And ever so slowly, Dignitas takes down the Nexus. Game one, Dignitas over Echo Fox. What are gonna go for here? Talia, all right, locks it in. Looking at this dig composition, it's going to be hard to uh, assess. Interruptible by crowd control. This bottom lane going to be very heavy in terms of, look at how fast they got that shield off, and they're going to keep going. The exhaust is out. Adrian's happy with that. He can oh, he's get going away. forward. Straight on him. Storm Seal just came back up from gate. Fast Fingers keeps Keith alive, and here's Akkadian. <laughs> Summoner spell, spell still on the bot side. Wait, Flashes what, for what? Bach. What? And it is going to be a 1v1 <laughs> for Akkadian and Adrian as Akkadian almost goes down. 600 on the Drake. They haven't really been focusing it too much, and Keith isn't really one to tear it down. Yeah, Brandini's wiggling right there, back and forth, kind of threatening, saying, I can do it, and he that, gets... Is that what a threatening Poppy does? They wiggle back and forth, and the whole all team tech, all starts tech. to wiggle here. Looking at all tech, he jumps over the wall with a bit of a dash, and Brandini goes down. There's the ultimate from Keen, finally dropping one out of the game. He gets his first kill. So many low health bars for Dig. There's the finalizing kill from Keith, and the one-two hit. And Dignitas now runs for the second. These TP. Oh, TP in, coming in. It's a flank. Let's see what Frog is flanking too. What the? They can do. Frog and over the wall. It's going to complete. Locking them down. They lose Adrian. Wish is also down for another fight. They don't get to use it. But that's also going to be Acadian falling. One for one on both sides. Echo now. Fox. Looking for the next shot as they take down Someday. Echo Fox comes in strong on the fight and turn Dignitas away. And Echo Fox is deal with 3,600 HP. Adrian just on the wing as he went down first. Won't be able to do too much other than Wish. There's, Does he keep him oh alive for long enough? They keep him off the Baron. This is what they wanted. Wish was just oh, used. Tech. He doesn't have too much more to offer. Oh! Start called the Froggin. Bananas Froggin down. Adrian comes in as the cow. Oh, someday shrimp not oh. feeling too bad to be across the wall. Froggin might leave Brandini and Acadian by themselves Altec. here. We'll see what happens. Steadfast presence not letting they can't kill him in or out. Altec finally goes down in the middle. Shrimp's going to be the next one. Echo Fox is organizing themselves for these long fights, saying Brandini, Acadian. Froggin providing a lot of threat. But oh, Gate. There's AoE damage. He's already taken a little bit. He has that passive on him from the Baron. They're going to stay alive. Fox grabs Baron. Oh, yeah. We had only about seven total, and the, the last few came into Nexus fight. And here we are inside the base. Will Acadian be big enough for the team to come up behind him? Brandini, nice shot on two members of Dig. He is always grabbing two in that Keeper's Verdict. He has been a menace. He's hard to remove. He has both resistances now. There's the wall. There's the Triple Mountain Drake to try and chunk this out. Oh, oh, Brandini. Shrimp ready to get on the back line, but is the team ready to hit it? He finds Keith and the back Whoa. line. Is that enough? Huge damage coming through. Brandini gets himself out. He's out. And a frog and delivering that with a seismic shove and the unraveled earth. Dignitas bought right into that one, and Echo Fox again is able to limp away on this. Shrimp are able to yep. get Shrimp on the backside once they close him out from his passive, and they're right back to the base. Yeah, they were able to actually play two different fights there in terms of skirmishes. Brandini went onto the bottom side with Acadian and Froggen, and Froggen was the big difference maker there. He brought enough damage to bring Adrian low and kill him, even though Adrian was oh. up. Gate's gonna go for the big heal there. Now the reset is actually in favor yep. of Echo Fox. Shrimp Fro has Froggen's on the side. Froggen's sitting on a control ward. He's gonna try to flank. He's gonna try to kill Adrian, even, who, even though he can't really contribute too much more. He's gonna try to push them off to the side. They've started the Baron. Adrian can't join. There's the engage. Grim locked onto Keen. Keen. With that Knight's foul. That's why he's been putting himself farther up front to look for that damage reduction. Look for his hit. It does not happen. And can they turn it around without that Syndra damage? Acadian in and out with the twisted advance to try and dodge some damage himself. They know and someday he's slow. They now know he's slow. left halfway up to the bar. Scarl hiding in the brush next to him, but he may not be able to get enough for him to come back out. Dignitas pulls off, and I think. <laughs> 
they have just eventually lost his Baron. Uh, Adrian trolling a little Baron's bit there. Gonna stay. Yeah, yeah, you stay, but I, you can't really steal with Brandini there. Yeah, that decision about as questionable as that. Froggen uh, with the ultimate. He could have sectioned oh, it off. He died in that 12. Brandini's got all dead. In. Turret goes down. Whoa! That was Keith with the Chain of Corruption All first. Tech falls just as fast, and Dignitas is actually trying to figure out Big how far he's moving this quick. Brandini's going to hit him away. A few more seconds. Oh! He gets silenced out. Equinox shuts down the Keeper's Verdict. He'll have that in a bit of a cool down. Into the fountain! And into the fountain they go! That's not the party that he wants. Keith going to keep himself alive. Keep going back, and he does heal himself off the art and sensor shield coming in huge. And it looks like they'll be able to finalize a few last kills. They say, Dignitas, you stayed here for a while to play with your food. We'll do the same thing too. Before they bring it to a game three, Keen goes down as well. Someday tries to find Solace on the fountain and he will try to come off to stop the last bit of damage for Fox. They will put the bit of gold in their pocket as they take down the Nexus. And 37 minutes in, oh. 16 to 5, Echo Fox bring it to a game three over Dignitas. And accepted just so much Ooh. damage. It was like when people first started complaining about how much damage Poppy did, uh, or like tanks in general, right? The Sunfire, Iceborne, Gauntlet. Uh, that's when they'll give it away. You can't Howling Gale both sides. There's the knock oh, of the key. beautifully done. Gonna walk him against the wall. He doesn't have much. Left or right position to move into. Ren's out the first kill. That goes over to all tech. Summoners were using the bot side, so it's, you just then have to ban out. Yeah, we almost never talk about Adrian as like one of those top tier supports, but absolutely he does make ridiculous. plays. One hit after the other. You gotta remember, it, summoners are down Back. in oh! this lane. It looks like they may be able to finish Wins off the, the shield, kill. Last the shield. He's going to live. He does have the mount of barrier. Oh, it's gonna be shield. Cool. Storm Shield comes up. Adrian now. See if Fox tries to enter in and see if there's a party here. Keith approaches for just a moment. Chain of Corruption down. And that's the Fates call to come in. Actually pulls him right into the Nathan's grasp, but they're going to be able to get out of this situation. Oh. Flash talk coming in from someday as you thought it might have been over. It just started for Dig. They come back hot after the Infernal. Yeah. Up, Keith running up to this one. They're going to drop the turret, but pressure. Oh, the whoa, 3v3 whoa, of whoa. Storm Shield. <laughs> Shrimp takes the heated up shots. That's probably going to mean the fight. Howling Gale stops him from getting away, but he gets pushed away from the Monsoon. Brandini comes in for the kill with the Buckler, smites him down. And now they're going to be going for the extended fight. Dig stays a bit longer than they wanted to gonna quiet him down but Adrian can't silence the full fight someday Froggen. now trying to run for his life Froggen with the big one loaded up next and he's gonna use that to finalize the kill but Gate steals it away the KS kill secured <laughs> final Gate. touches on the turret yeah someday still in the top side pushing it out they're gonna trade back turret though they're just trading it's eye for an eye in terms of turrets and there goes Akkadian he went in Locked out of Adrian, they come back. Fate's call goes back out. Oh, he grabs in Brandini. Did he want oh, the, stun. Oh, the petrifying gaze hits three members of Fox, and they have to turn once they unturn from stone. Five to four. Can Dig pick up self to find this? Yeah, and Altec gets those advantages on the side. And look at this wall. They're just face checking. They're going in. They're trying to start a fight. TPs from both. One is a stand united, and that is going to be Acadian going down. Huge damage onto Keith and Gate as they try to get towards the mid lane. Froggen's also on the left, only delivering in the missiles, but it's just hitting a brick wall right now. Brandini oh, doing as much as he can to extend the time of this fight, but eventually goes down. A triple kill coming in for Keen, as well as the fight Alltech had on the top side there, mano a mano. Dignitas, like, game one, it looked really clean from them in terms of macro. Game two, there were uh, lane wards. Push up. They're going to deal a lot of damage to this turret. Rooted on all get it. Storm Shield. I thought Storm Shield was gonna maybe bait him in for a little bit longer, but they are playing this one super safe. Knowing the minion wave getting thinned out quick. Acadian, however, sees that same thing. Possibly the time to pull the trigger. Adrian flashes in for the silence. Friend. Looks to get himself out and rends the tree down. Coming in from Alltech. They are finding priority targets. Brandini cannot do the same. Can't get to the back line. Held off and Keen throws down the miasma so no one else can enter or exit as Dignitas starts to tear the base to shreds. Yeah, what happened there was they used, hold on. Oh, they're still going after Brandini. Get out of here. All right, so they used the QSS. Altec had used it previously when he got uh, hit up there by Keith's ultimate. Just, yeah. Junglers, you are right. Get Swifties. Yes, no. 
Getting swifty. Oh. Oh, a pull. And he's oh. not tanky at all. When you can pull in the Maokai, that's when you know things are going well for your team. Dignitas continues to roll through this one as the gates open. They're and killing them all. Goes down as well. That's Looks game. like Keith and the rest of the team heading for the fountain. Dignitas does again go to three games. Consistent as ever. And 13 to 4, 27 minutes in. They're going to put the final touches on the base now. And it looks like everybody's going to have to hide on the backside with the store. Are they going to get Whoa! Here? going straight through? Shrimp says they're going to get cooked up at the end of this one. And Dignitas, they're buying their time. It'll happen eventually. Adrian. Another victory for them as they look to get to that third place in the league. Dignitas, it took them three games. 